Alright, welcome back to some more Animal Crossing Dreamtowns. I'm recording this on Tuesday because I still have this capture, or I ha still have this 3DS on my capture device. And uh, Wednesday, I, which is tomorrow for me, uh, Wednesday the 23rd, um, I'm getting this switched out into the blue 3DS, my American blue 3DS, my Luigi's Mansion one that I got in November last year, and I don't know how long that will take if they will get it done that day, if they will get it done the next day, or the following day, or even Saturday when this would be recorded, so I don't know, and uh, so I gotta record this now, because once I take this in, the only 3DS that I'll have that can capture stuff for the time being will be my Japanese one, so... Yeah, and this is not the blue 3DS I'm talking about. It's it's the one that I dropped. No, it's the one that I dropped on my legs. Um, it's the uh, Japanese one. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's not drop that, Luke. At least it hit my legs. Frickin' <laughs> jumpy. Um, and then also, heads up for anyone that wants to send me dream codes. People keep... People keep leaving comments on on a uh, random video, like random Animal Crossing videos, and then by the time I uh, will want a dream code, um, yeah, I won't. I don't know what video they put it on. I got tons of Animal Crossing videos, and it's like I don't know what video it is. I want a PM if you want to send me an Animal Crossing code, and it should at least it should. For my benefit, if you have a story behind it, then it will more likely be um, told. But if it only has like one house or something like that, then it's probably not going to be picked as much. Um, but, I mean, the more houses, the better. Unless there's a story behind it, then um, if there's a story behind it, then I will probably pick it even more. But... Um, yeah, to, if you want to send me an Animal Crossing code, go to my page, my my regular Animal Cross or my regular uh, channel page right here, and uh, go to the about the about uh, section right that's located right here, and then it will bring you to my information and stuff. And then if you go down, you can see. A send message button. That leads you to a PM. Or that leads you to PM me. And then if you PM me the code. I will more than likely check out your town. town if it. If like I said. If it has either a lot of houses. Or um, if it has a story behind it. Even better. And I will more than likely choose yours. To do on the channel. But otherwise. Uh, yeah. If you. If you leave it in a random video, I'm more than like there's a there's an eighty percent chance your your friend code or not friend code your dream town code will not be looked over, and so that's why I'm doing that's why I'm doing this right here so I can point it out to you all. And yeah, send message. It'll bring you up to this, and then it will. Then from there you can enter your message, and then I will get uh, the message. And yeah, so I hope that clears things up, cause yeah. Also, I forgot to uh, type in the dream code, but yeah, I typed it in, and I'll uh, type it in for you all, just in case. Um, it is eight nine zero zero. One three eight eight nine three eight two. There we go, and that will bring us to this town, which, from what I've heard, is that one town that I thought was the right one, and then uh, turned out that it wasn't. So, or it turned out that that dream code wasn't good, but this should be the right town code. So. So yeah, let's let's change 
the background as I go into dreamland or nightmare land, however you want to say it. And yeah, I barely have any soda left, so yeah. Ah. <sighs> Okay, let's let's fast forward a little bit. <laughs> um but yeah, the right now on the channel, I just got done playing one game and beating it, something that's from my childhood. Should be having videos up for it now so I can say it. Vector Man, holy crap, that is an old game and glad I got it on Steam so I could play it for the channel. And Wow, that's a lot of crap in it. Welcome to the world of dreams. Right now you are having a dream of sleepy of a sleepy town called apparently Cherry. That's what it's supposed to be. So enough talking. Let's see what we got here. First, we got some thick glasses. And we also... No, I... No! Let me sleep! Dang it! Okay, uh, I love you. Oh. Oh. Well, before I go, I was also informed to get a shovel, so... Let's see how this goes. And I still got one more recording to do tonight, and I'm getting up at, um, around 9 o'clock-ish. And it's 1.48 in the morning. Can I go this way? No. No, I cannot. A patched shirt, eh? Um. And a patched dress. Can I go this way? No. Aha. Okay. This must be the first house that I go to. Well, let's just... kick things right into gear, and... shut that off first, and... Shut that off first, too. And? And I can't even shut that one off. Lovely. Well. Well, I'm a little disturbed right now. Yeah. Although the stupid high pitchy th things really overdone in creepy towns. But where is... Right, I can't read. I can't read, uh, I think this is Korean. <laughs> Oops. Um. Move that out of the way. And screw it, I'm going this way, because I want to go this way, because there's too much crap in the way. What was this? What was that? Who's that? Oh! It's Lucky! Funny. <laughs> um. Well, I will say this town is very, uh... Littered. 
And it takes a lot to get around it by the looks of it. Okay, I don't think there's anything over that way unless uh, something's buried, but I, with how freaking hold up this town is, I highly doubt there is anything to dig up. Yeah, there, there can't be anything to dig up. Except maybe, uh, maybe at the end, maybe? Maybe? Well, hello. We got something right here, unless this is fossils. Who called it? Who called it? Another fossil? No, a gyroid. Put that away. Look, another fossil, probably. Guess we can get all the fossils out of the way. Collect it for the town. Right? Right. Because there's one right here, too. Or it's a pitfall. <laughs> eh. Hmm. You know what would make this... You know what would make a very awesome, scary town? is if they stopped, uh, if they uh, got a good time, and it's in the middle of July or June, and it's thundering out with uh, the 4 o'clock a.m. song. That's really hard to do. I've seen it happen, though, but it's very hard to do. Let's see an axe... See another hat that's probably a patchwork axe or a nurse's cap. Now, I don't know if this is the right town to go to ne or the right house to go to next or what, but I see someone right here that looks to be like a nurse. Hmm. Well, the house looks rather small, but it has a bad door on it. Turn... I can't tell. Oh. <laughs> At least I was given some time to think. Or after the fact. It's like you can't even think with that loud mosquito sound. Uh. Okay. That's this house. Enough of that song. I have an opinion, but I won't say it until the very end of the, uh, of the town tour, because I'll just wait for it. Okay. So we got one more house over here. And this is a big house. There, This might be the last house, actually. For real, too. Why 
now turn to the wall. Hmm. Huh. Well, there's a lot of blood in here. Jeez. Even on the uh, pillows and stuff. I didn't even know you could customize those. Uh... Yeah, I didn't even know you could customize those. Huh. I didn't see where this person was at either. Let's go in the back room next. Well, at least it's different from Hypno, and I actually like this song more. Also, looks like it's 425. This looks like a room that's dedicated to time, which is a little interesting. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I see a husband, a mother, and or husband, a wife, and a kid, a daughter. At least I think it's a daughter. I saw the schoolgirl outfit. Oh, hello. You're the husband that looks dead and bloodied. Out and ah, uh. uh. Why do I feel like I'm in space or something? Like, this has to do with an alien or something. Because I see this whole space station and then a lot of the space rooms. Hmm. What's upstairs? And what's downstairs? Oh my god, enough with the music. Oh jeez, man. Huh, okay. I get those experiments. And maybe experiments on the father, but also on the... on the mother, because her head is all wrapped up. But... Uh, there's the... There's the husband or father, whatever you want to call him, too. Well, that message sure is, uh, out of the ordinary.
Please don't be a... <sighs> Let's go down here. Cake and candy and lots of flowers in the ocean. I'm just going to run through, because why the heck not? Hmm. A present? I bet you I know what this present is. Yep. Figured it'd be balloon. I'm guessing I needed the shovel to get through this area. That's what I'm guessing with all the holes everywhere. But otherwise, as far as stuff being buried, it's just random stuff that you find every day. Aerosol, an elegant umbrella, get this crap out of my way, I'm like, what's up with the wallpaper and old flooring, old wallpaper, okay. And it looks like I'm at the very beginning. Okay. Okay. So, my opinion on this town, now that we're back here. Oh my god. Uh, this town was not as good as what I was expecting it. The... I mean, maybe if I understood... Um, if I understood, I'm guessing Korean, I think that's Korean, if I understood Korean a little more, maybe I'd get it, but, uh, first, I don't mind this background music for this, it shows that it's a, it might be a creepy town or whatever, but don't put KK Hypno almost every single room that you can go to in a house that just it's annoying more so than like I've heard KK Hypno in almost every single creepy town because Ica Village used it and so it's become that whole oh it's a scary song sort of thing but by now it's more annoying than anything, it, especially, like, not annoying where if it's in one room or two rooms, I don't mind too much, but if it's in every single room, except for one, in every single house, it's been played out way too much. So that's my first gripe. My second gripe would be... This entire town is so, f like, okay, I, Ica, I, I'm going to use Ica Village again because I know this is what this town, this is what this town was trying to be a little bit. Ica started out with it looking a little, uh, a little, like, it looked beautiful, I guess you could say. There were, um, Jacob's Ladders at places and there was all these other things. That made it look pretty when he looked at the first house or whatever. And then as he went on, there was supposed to be a path that I didn't follow, obviously. But I didn't see where the path went. I, I couldn't see the, where the path was going or whatever. But at least they had a path going. This town... I'm used to pointing this way. Okay, let me switch the camera angle so I can use my way. That's wrong, Luke. Um... This town, this town right here, it pretty much just had holes everywhere and you had to 
you had to make a path yourself to get everywhere and just flowers scattered around, items scattered around, and just way too much crap to be considered, like, I can understand a little trashiness and stuff, make it look like a abandoned town or whatever, but this is overdoing it. And, um, third, again, I didn't know how the story was going, but by the looks of it, it looked like it was all, like, it looked like they were trying to show the scare creep factor a little too much, and, like, not slowly get into it, like how Ica Village went, um... Hidokui Village went where every, like, almost every single room in the first, like, the cafe, for example. The cafe looked normal, and then you went to the basement, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> and it was one of the closest houses, so you would go to that house first, obviously. This town just has, it's trying to get you every, it at every single turn, and... When it's trying to get you a little too much with the stupid Hypno KK in the background, it's just... No. No. So, either way, you can check out this town. I'll try to leave the dream code in the description again, but... Uh, otherwise, this town, this Korean person... I think overdid it a little too much and just... Uh... But with that, I'm going to end the video here. It's 2.08 at night. I still got to do one more recording. Then start rendering videos and putting, uh, like, two of those videos up at least. Yeah, I got a busy night. So with that, I hope you all kind of enjoyed. And again, if you want to send me a dream code, PM it to me. Don't, don't just comment it down and below in the comments or something like that pm it to me send me a message so yeah have a great day